There are several vehicles on the market that target the active family that has space for people, cargo, and technology that's going to make it all work together. Now while the segment's not as large as it once was, that minivan continues to prove that effective still counts. This is Michael Mars, and in the drive this week, we've been putting some miles on the 2014 Sienna XLE, the updated minivan from Toyota that's available in five trim levels that's going to offer a variety of features that are all based on being a people mover with seating for seven or eight passengers, and it brings several new features to the segment for 2014. Under the hood of the 2014 Sienna, we're going to see that there's only one engine and transmission choice. This Toyota firmly relies on the 3.5 liter V6 that produces a very responsive 266 horsepower and that's backed by that slick shifting 6 speed transmission. Now this combination is rated for 25 miles per gallon on the highway in a front wheel drive configuration and new for 2014 the Sienna has the only available all wheel drive in the segment and it's rated at 23 miles per gallon out on the highway. The different materials used on the Sienna interior are based on the trim level, with our review vehicle being the XLE that comes with a stylish soft material on the touch points as well as wood trim around the interior. Now there are driver only controls on the left side of the dash such as the traction control and then the gauge package is a really nice simple group of large easy to read sweeping gauges. The steering wheel does have some controls for the audio system, the phone, and the voice response system. The Sienna actually makes use of two screens in the center stack area, with the smallest screen at the top being the actual driver configurable screen for items like tire pressure and fuel economy readings. Now this screen is actually configured from the lower buttons on the center stack. Now the larger 6.1 inch screen is where the controls for the more common systems are going to happen like the available navigation system that includes the Toyota Intune suite of applications. Now this app can include internet browsers, access to Pandora, as well as real time traffic reports or sports information. This is a people mover, so we're going to find several drink holders throughout the passenger spaces as well as 12 volt power supply options. The CD player is located down at the bottom of the center stack with a sliding door and the front wheel drive actually allows for several floor mounted storage improvements in the Sienna. The large center console of the Sienna has plenty of deep storage for items such as the remote control for the entertainment system and the back section of it is adjustable. Now this makes it a lot easier for the rear passengers to have access to the drink holders as well as create some very flexible and usable floor storage. Additional storage can be found in the passenger area with the dash making use of an upper compartment as well as a lower traditional compartment for storage. Moving into the second row, we're going to find some nice captain's chairs as well as soft storage areas behind the front seat that provide a great place to store the wireless headsets that come as part of the available infotainment system. The back of the front console also serves as the drink holders for the rear passengers which again is very flexible and adjustable to make it easier for the rear passengers to reach but it also creates a nice flexible storage in the floor. A particularly interesting feature or available option on the new Sienna is the all access seat. Now this seat has controls on the seat or it actually has a remote control that brings the seat out and down that allows passengers that need a little extra help to get up into the vehicle uh, easier access. All done by remote, all done by power, a really nice feat of engineering. Looking at the Sienna through the rear lift gate, we're going to find that there's a large deep storage compartment here for normal cargo as well as some dry storage over on the left hand side. Now these seats do fold down. It's a three-step process. Simply fold the headrest over, pull on the strap, and push the seat forward to take the 6040 seats down flat. Now, to actually pull this seat down into the floor, it's not electric, but it's a very simple one-handed operation. Pull on the lever, pull the seat back, it raises up and slightly, and then down and folds into the floor. Although the other half of the 6040 seat is a little bit larger, it really works the same way. It's easy to do with one hand. 
This creates large area for some nice flat storage for, for bigger bulky items. Now to return the seats back to their upright normal use position, it's a two-step process. Simply grab the handle and pull it up. Then pulling on the strap pulls the seat back in, locks it into place, and finally pull the headrest up for normal use. The 2014 Toyota Sienna starts at an MSRP just under 28,000. Now this is with V6 power and a six-speed automatic that's gonna give you a towing capacity of 3,500 pounds and up to 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 18 on the city, and 21 combined according to the EPA ratings. Now with five trim levels to work with and a list of options, the Sienna can be configured in a variety of ways to meet an active lifestyle. We'd like to thank you again for joining us on the Texan channel of the Texas Automotive News Network as we've had the 2014 Toyota Sienna in the drive. If you get a chance to drive one of these nice vehicles, we highly recommend it. This is Michael Mars reminding you to visit us on Facebook and travel safe.